I feel like the leak cutter, it literally happened within a week here in November, first week of November is kind of more of the late summer, early fall trend where the rockfish are, you know, semi on the bite, a little bit slower, and lane cod were basically non-existent, and then in about a week's time, this clear water moved in, a little bit cooler water, and uh, east wind, a little bit east wind in the mornings, you get nice quite a few nice days in a row, you know, very little swell, and, and um, the links just turned on, so in the winter time, early spring, a lot of the link kind of move in, or they just become more active because they're guarding the nests, and they're starting to, females are starting to lay eggs, and so the males, um, you know, to naturally protect them, so, um, are super active down there guarding and, and uh, so that's why you see a lot of like cookie cutter cookie cutter 22 to like 26 8 inch link cut around those, a lot of those are males and then occasionally you'll see the big females come up and try to grab the males and get you get your hangers and stuff and just depending on the day so one of my favorite times of the year when it's cold flat you know, really clear water, and uh, it's just a different vibe out here in the winter, and trying to get more people to, to come out here and enjoy this time of year. There's some of the best fishing you can possibly ask for this time of year, so if we can get people to uh, realize that, you know, everybody wants to come out in the summertime when the weather's nice, but if you can handle some cooler weather and you know still a nice ocean you know, you're gonna be rewarded with some nice nice fish so it's worth it
all you want again? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. 